talking about? The Magicians by Lev Grassman. This book is an urban fantasy set in Brooklyn, New York, in which we follow a boy named Quentin Coldwater. Quentin is a high school senior and he's bored with his current life. He's also quietly obsessed with a children's series that he read growing up that centers around a group of siblings that travel into a magical land called Fillory and this series is meant to pair well the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Quentin is suddenly accepted into an exclusive and secret academy by the name of Breakbills that is going to train him in magic and sorcery. This school is obviously supposed to parallel the Harry Potter series. And unlike the land of Fillory, Quentin finds learning magic to be boring and really tedious and he doesn't enjoy it that much. Eventually Quentin does realize that magic is not all that he fantasized it to be growing up. And when Quentin and his friends discover that Fillory isn't just a fictional land, it's real and they can travel to it, they're very eager to travel there and relive their favorite childhood books. However, much to their disappointment, the world isn't as it appears to be in the books and might even be very dangerous. I didn't really know anything going into this book, but the back does say that anyone who is a fan of Narnia or Harry Potter shouldn't miss this book, so I was pretty excited to give it a chance. I did know that some people didn't really enjoy it, but it was my fiance's book and I really wanted to give it a chance for him and I thought that I would probably actually end up liking it. While I did end up enjoying it at first, it really didn't thrill me. I don't really want to get too much into specifics, but it left me wanting more and not really in a good way. We're talking about a whole new magical system here and then a couple paragraphs later, Quentin is in his next year of school and it pretty much glosses through his five years at school in a matter of a few chapters and I was like, what? I don't understand why. I wanted to know more about his time there. There has to be something more that was happening during his years at Breakbills that they could have talked about for a little bit longer than just a few chapters. I just felt like the author was really grazing the surface of topics and then moving right along, which left me skimming through the book. And while that was fine at first, it left me feeling really bored and unsatisfied. Wait, maybe I was supposed to feel that way because Quentin is bored with his life and maybe it was a metaphor, something, I don't know. Another thing that really bothered me about this book is that towards the end, it felt like they were bashing people who really enjoyed the world of Narnia and the magical world in Harry Potter which was very strange to me because the back of the book did say that fans of Narnia and Harry Potter shouldn't miss this book and then after reading the book when I read the back again I read it with an overwhelming sense of sarcasm and that just really rubbed me the wrong way. It still when I talk about it it feels almost like it was a slap in the face because the whole point of the book is pretty much saying that anyone that believes in these magical worlds and fantasizes about these magical worlds are fools because it's not ever going to be how you expect it to be and all of this stuff. And so then I just felt like it was really almost offensive to put that on the back that the lovers of these other two series should read this book that basically tells you that you're stupid for liking these series. I don't know, that really, really bothered me. That's the main reason that I'm not going to be continuing on with the series. I had heard that the general consensus was that people didn't really enjoy this book and I wanted so badly to love it. I just really wanted to prove everyone wrong and fall in love with this book and this world 
and I just couldn't do it. That is my non-spoiler review of The Magicians by Lev Grossman. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!